Tamati, Julio De Niro, set to take on Rick Ratchet. Julio De Niro, fresh out of his run with ECW, making his way to JCW. This is his JCW debut. He is a mighty fine dancer, isn't he? He's also pretty good in the ring. Julio De Niro, very talented in-ring competitor. Likes to string together his kicks and apparently his dancing. He's always out there to have some fun. I don't know how much fun he's going to have with Rick Ratchet, who has been out of action for a little bit. He's going to be making his return to in-ring duty tonight. Julio concerned about the condition of the ring. And rightly so, we've seen that uh, become a factor in so many of the matches that we've seen tonight. The fact that the, uh, the ropes and turnbuckles are a little unreliable at best. Going on a winning a prayer there. You can see the definition of uh, Julio's stomach hair there, or abdominal muscles as the case may be. being led to the ring by Andrew Anderson. Something remotely familiar here about the presence of these two, Rick Ratchet and Andrew Anderson. I don't know, it seemed oddly reminiscent. I can't put my finger on it. Did you know that Rick Ratchet has a victory over Sid? Sid Vicious? Yeah. The one, the only. Four world champions, Sid Vicious? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> Was that the cause of his layoff from wrestling? Or it should have been. After that big victory, he should have retired. However, he competed for several years before he retired last September. He made his way back into the ring earlier this year and has competed semi-regularly now. About once a month. Sharing some words of wisdom. That's exactly what I was referring to. They do seem oddly reminiscent of Ric Flair and Arn Anderson. Trouble shaking off the ring rust. Definitely dazed and confused. The big flare flop there as he's looking to get into the corner to get away from Julio De Niro. Those handprints showing up from those chops earlier on.
Ratch are having a tough time mounting any offense here. You better hope if all else fails that maybe Andy Anderson will come in and save him. Julio sends him in a turnbuckle. Thin pads there, not offering a whole lot of protection from that metal turnbuckle. And right down the buckles, Rick Ratchet goes. Where's Julio going now? Look at that portal. Oh. Thought he was going to pick up some hardware there. You can clearly see the handprint of Julio De Niro on the chest of Rick Ratchet. Maybe he's going to add one to that collection. Ratchet with a handful of hair looking to turn things around. Julio there just absolutely destroying Ratchet with the chops. That chop fest. Big backdrop out of the corner. Ratchet just looks. Ratchet has just been getting brutalized for the majority of this match. Another big backdrop. He wants nothing to do with Julio De Niro. Julio taking a swing and diverting his attention there from Ratchet, which is a mistake. Ratchet, the crafty, crafty wrestler that he is there, took advantage of that momentary distraction provided by Andrew Anderson. Ratchet hanging on to the ropes and getting the heck out of Dodge. Before Julio can lay a little more punishment on him. I don't know which looks worse, his back or his chest. You can just see he's been mauled. Going to the outside here. Ratchet better pick up the pace and get the heck away. Looks like he doesn't have to. It was just a setup for Andrew Anderson to pop Julio. For the, the manager or the, the partner plays a different factor here to the advantage of Rick Ratchet. Rick Ratchet going for a chair. Holy wants no part of that. Just kind of smacked him on the side there with that chair. Where are they going? Wherever the heck Julio De Niro wants. Right back into the ring, that's for sure. Into the chairs. Five rows deep goes Rick Ratchet. Ends up with a steel chair necktie for his trouble. Ratchet being led around by that chair. De Niro whips him into the table. Chest first into the edge of that table there. Julio's setting something up here. What's he going for here? Ratchet better come up with something. Oh. He uh, did the low blow. The uppercut to the cojones of Julio De Niro. Seemed like this match was all but over for Rick Ratchet if he hadn't come up with something and at the right time he did there. Whoops him into the wall. They're brawling all over here in the Lodi Boys and Girls Club. Hell of a post and cornered a wall, touching every table and piece of furniture in their way. Can't believe they haven't picked up any merchandise. Nowhere for Julio to go, backed up against the wall. Ratchet ended up in the trash. I think that's also Julio's review of his wrestling ability. Andrew Anderson there keeps trying to interject himself, but it's a good thing that the referee is right there, Paul Turner, keeping his eye on the action. Anderson post De Niro. Paul Turner here sort of losing control over this wild matchup. Trying to get him to take it back inside the ring. He's doing his man a favor here, Anderson, buying time for Rick Ratchet to sort of catch his wind and maybe shake off some of the punishment he's already absorbed. Julio there communicating with Paul Turner, letting him know he can still go on. 
Although that his opinion on that might change if Andrew Anderson continues to interject himself. What's he bringing out? Uh, red rubber ball. Oh! Paul Turner is the one who winds up eating it, though. Find a rather unusual array of foreign objects at a boys and girls club, I suppose. There you see the big spine buster by Andy Anderson. Paul Turner still knocked silly from the shot from the red rubber ball. Ratchet trying to get him into position so he can make the pin. Only two. I don't know if Ratchet's going to go looking for another foreign object. Contrary to popular belief, boys and girls clubs in New Jersey don't usually keep baseball bats wrapped in barbed wire under the ring. Definitely not with the uh, commission. Oh, there! That's one of Julio's patented moves. Caught him right under the jaw with that kick. Now he's waiting on Ratchet. Wants to lay in a little punishment. Oh! Meets Anderson with the chair. Showing a little gratitude for his earlier intervention. Ratchet keeps trying to cut Julio off here. Prevent him from using that steel chair. Knees him right in the gut. Home handle. No, rearranges. Julio's fighting for it. Ratchet trying to get away for it. Now he finally muscled him up into his move. The near-death experience. On the steel chair. That's it. That's what it took. Julio's patented move. The near-death experience right under the steel chair. And Rick Ratchet was down for three. And Ra Julio's getting out of there before Andrew Anderson gets a chance to intervene once again.